Hey everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm Phil. I'm James. I'm Derek. And it is time for anything. Today, we have a very strange topic. What's my age again? Uh, <laughs> I guess it's mostly just a big nostalgia trip, trying to think about what was stuff like when we were growing up, and a little bit of how are things different now. Um, so we'll kind of go into that later with a little bit of statistics, but yeah, I guess... Uh, the, the big question that I'm wondering if some people are wondering is, are we millennials or are we Gen Z? And that is a complicated question because you can get sources, but apparently some other sources are like, well, actually, if you're a millennial, you're this year to this year. And it's like... I, yeah, I generations know. aren't an exact science. Right. They're usually more nailed down after they've passed. Uh, for example, like the, the current generation doesn't have a name. Like there's no name for anybody born after I think it's 2012. It's the I've heard it goes Gen Z like then Gen Alpha, but again, it's just a slang it's, term. See, I don't yeah. even recognize Generation Alpha. They, they they're like supposedly because like somebody <clears throat> came along and was like Generation Alpha, and mm -hmm. enough people said yes, sure, sure. yeah, yeah. So you uh, said 2012, you. and I've heard 2010. So I'm like, I don't yeah, know. Right, and it won't be determined until. Way down the line. Way down, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, just <clears throat> Gen Z has a name like Y. Because there is oh, no so Gen there. Y. Wait, is there? Yeah. Yeah, no. There. No? Yes. Wait, are we thinking of it's, Gen X? Well, Gen X is a thing. It's, oh, Gen, yes, X, it's Gen X, Millennials, Gen Z. Well, Millennials are technically Gen Y. The nickname for not. Gen Y is Millennial. No. That's what I've heard. That's, that's how know. it was until they became just Millennials. So I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's that same thing, where like they have like Gen Z. Gen Z has a couple different names. I saw uh, Gen I or I Gen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The I generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's so corny. Remember when putting I in front of something was like denoting it as cool? <laughs> yeah. Now it's just Apple. Yeah. And so it's not cool. No, it's just normal. But yeah, it, there's several different names for each generation the big ones being the ones that you hear baby boomer millennial gen z mm -hmm. gen, gen x. x yeah yeah it kind of uh, i guess research and like terminology when it comes to the scientific world kind of parallels to whatever society deems a cool name yeah well, for who, the generation who actually determines the names no it's different different institutes, cool. different research institutes that just say, well, this generation is from date X to date Y, uh, and we'll call them Generation X. So, yeah. Anyway, that's a thing that I feel like... Why Gen Z, then? I don't know. Well, because it, it makes random. you think, it's like, well, have we been counting? Has there been Gen A, Gen B, C, D? Like, probably not. And then also, what comes after Z? Is it Gen... Generation Alpha, according to Wikipedia. Is it Gen... Oh, okay. All right, that's legit. It is early... If Wikipedia's knocking it down, I'm there. Generation Alpha is early 2010s to mid-2020s. Mm, Generation okay. Z ends in 2012. So assuming that... Well, the, with, with that, then Generation Alpha would start in 2012. Yeah. It's so strange to me. Tw 12 years seems very short. <clears throat> um... Yeah, but for if a you, gap in generation, I don't, I don't think so. It's, uh, it's 1997 to 2012. If you've got someone who's so it's like 15 years, I think it's every 15 years. Okay, generally, like we grew up through the 2000s and into 2010 and stuff like that. But if you have someone who grows up in 2000 in the 2010s, they're living a much different life growing up than you were. So I feel like 12 years actually is a good 15. 15, okay, so 15 years. But it, yeah, it's you're really definitely being raised in a very different time. Uh, I mean, I think at least. If you're born in 1985, you're living a much different life than if you were born in 2000. So. 100%. Yeah. yeah. But that's not... That's just the advancements of technology applied to... Wait, but I guess I see what you're saying about like, literally a new generation. As in... Like if you're born in 1985, you're not having like. A does kid the world affect years. you that differently? I wonder if it they depends. Do it specifically so children 
or people, for example, people in Generation Z can't have a kid until the next generation has started. Do they do, they do it like that? But you would only be 15 years old. I think I think most people aren't having kids at 15. Yeah. Um, and you would only be 15 if you were born in 1997. By, by 2012, only those kids that were born in 97 would be 15. Mm. The kids that were born in 98 would be 14. Yeah. So on and so forth. So maybe they do it that it's pretty statistically unlikely that a child born okay. in a generation yeah, would have okay. a child that is All also right. born All right, that, in might, that might be the case. I like that. I think I'm going to roll with that like, justification, even if it's not... It's probably not 100% accurate by any means. That, no, that's good for but... me. I mean, like, we can... I, I've been kind of trying to wrap my head around this for a long time, and you just kind of answered it in seconds, so I'll take that. I mean, that would seem to make a lot of sense, so I'll just roll with that as my Based on logic. Theory. Good job, James. <laughs> <laughs> Home run right out of the park. So, um, I mean, yeah, you kind of answered the question, uh, I think... Um, no one will ever know our actual age. I, and uh, the only reason I even asked this question, <laughs> so like long story short, is I was born in 96 by like 28 days. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> and <laughs> I'd have to stand on, no, can I just stand just, on my hill no, for no, a second? For Honestly, yeah. the people listening know that I stand on this hill <laughs> until I die. Um, but I'm I, technically a millennial. I am a millennial. <laughs> <laughs> Which, it's, it's just not true. I mean, just it's, based it's on the influences. It's literally a technicality. But it, I will admit, it is weird that three in a three-year time span, I can, like, reference things to, like, my girlfriend's friends and roommates who are, like, 21. Mm-hmm. And um, like they don't get them. They don't get it. Yeah. Well, because, I mean, three years of media, like, a lot can happen in three years of what's on TV, what's not, what songs are popular, what's not, what's hip, and what's not. It's That's true. I mean, things progress so fast nowadays that, I mean, just... There's even, like, crucial things, like, like, 9-11. Yeah. Like, I remember 9-11. I do not. There are 20-year-olds right now that were born after 9-11. Yeah, it's really weird. Mm Mm-hmm. It's really... I mean, it... I mean, not that, like, okay, it was definitely one of the biggest events in American history. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's just kind of funny to me, like... Literally, kids close to my age have a completely different perception on an event mm-hmm. than me. Mm-hmm. And, like, I can say that was a very scary time. I mean, of course I was a kid, and I don't, I wasn't processing things as an adult. But even looking back, you're just at work, minding your business. Someone runs in and says, holy shit, a plane just crashed into the Twin Towers. They're thinking it's a terrorist attack. They didn't even yeah. know at first. Yeah. They were just like, thinking, what the well, hell what else is going to happen? And then mm-hmm. a second <clears throat> the yeah. second one did it. Yeah. And, and also, there were several other attacks on 9-11. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that's a so plane, true. A plane went down. In the Pentagon. In like near the Pentagon. Yeah. yeah. In Pennsylvania. I was just at the Pentagon last weekend. Yeah. Looked yeah. at that. I was like, wow. Plane went in that. Yeah. Right there. That's just insane. Remember when we were playing Army of Two? And you're like, run, you try to like run across the building, and then a plane literally just crashes into the building that you're at. And I'm yeah. like, there's not, it doesn't show the amount of damage that actually occurs. Oh, no, it's like, like a little tiny hole. Like, can you imagine yeah. a plane flying into a plane? Jet, jet fuel doesn't melt still beams. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't. But, but I don't know. <laughs> don't get me into that. Don't, don't get me into the whole 9 11 conspiracy two thing. Planes. Yeah. Crashing into a building. Well, into two different buildings. Into a building. <laughs> you don't get a lot of test samples of a plane crashing into the building. No, you don't. I don't think that that's... Re- no. You just... You don't see it every day. No. It's also... Have you seen the footage of... Uh, there was... I remember seeing it was like a video of... Uh, there was just like a firefighter standing on the street. And he's just talking to the camera or something. Mm-hmm. And then in the background are the buildings. And you just see a plane hit. And they're like, what just... What was that? What just happened? This is insane. It's crazy to think that there are thousands of people just going through their day-to-day yep. lives in the city. Probably someone standing in an office building looking at the Twin Towers and they go, oh, that plane is flying kind of low. Oh, shit. Oh, no. And then they see it happen and it's like, wow, that's just bizarre. That's insane. That's just crazy. It's just it's 
I don't just the shock of that. So yeah, Gen Z or millennial? <laughs> I say millennial, um, because I remember nine eleven. See, I still, I mean, like, I just. But I'm Gen Z. Yeah. I remember nine eleven. Okay, that's fair. You can be an honorary millennial. I don't know how you can remember something when you're that young. Like, I'm not saying I, you can't. I, I just have don't. Flashes of the day that it happened. Just being, I was at preschool, and I remember staying at preschool throughout the day because my parents were like, "Well, he's at preschool. That's mm. probably the safest place that he could be during yeah. a terrorist attack." Right. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I remember my parents didn't pick me up. My grandmother picked me and my cousin up. Mm. And she was like, oh, yeah, like everything's fine. Your parents will be home from work later, you know, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. Some people's yeah. parents didn't I, come home from work because they were in the building. I don't believe at my preschool that was the case well, but right, definitely that, well, somewhere yeah. in america yeah yeah, yeah absolutely. 100% yeah um oh wait I, there's I, I just realized why i probably don't remember it because why? i was homeschooled during that time up until second grade mm-hmm. so i was probably just like at home just do like coloring or something and my parents were like oh god and i was just like the homeschool aspect to me was always interesting yeah i forgot like yeah. you just yeah, literally awesome. sent me right back down memory lane and yeah. that's why we're just justifying all of our nostalgic tangents in one episode yeah because it's literally an episode of nostalgic tangents so stick around it's a good one like, you but i do discs? remember you were homeschooled sorry <laughs> no I, actually you know what i didn't i wasn't really around floppy disks which yeah. is like weird but i never used them i definitely knew of them but we had a floppy oh, no, yeah i think i saw my dad used them, and we had a floppy disk drive, so I, I like saw them in practice. I just never had an application for them. I think it's really funny that some kids that use, say, Microsoft Word, and there's a little save icon, yep. and it's a floppy disk. They have no they idea what it means. They don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. They just think it's the save icon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's actually a floppy disk. Yeah, it's weird. Like, why is that still a thing? Like, why don't I mean? What would you even change it to? Like a cloud? Because it's but it's not even being saved to the cloud unless you're using like yeah. OneDrive features. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's a good symbol for it. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I'm glad you put giant PCs. So you would stick the floppy disk into the giant PC hole. <laughs> yes. Well, and... I, I guess I say giant PCs, but I really shouldn't because my PC is the same size as the old ones were. My monitor is just slimmer. Well, I think people monitor have a tendency to look at the monitor and go, PC. Yeah, they go, it's yes. a computer. Yeah. yeah. Not no. anymore. <laughs> but at the time, oh, especially, no, they, yeah. Dude, I mean, working in IT, trust me, they do. <laughs> they, they still think it's the computer. I'm like, oh, have you tried turning it on or turning well, it off and turning it back on? Very it difficult. I would have a very difficult time just composing myself trying Dude. to... I just actually no. I'd be like, look, that's the monitor. Think of it as yes. the TV. Yes. And your cable box is that big box down below. Yes. That's the Unless big guy. It's Mac. Unless Mac it's Mac. Well, well, monitor. What was really monitor. annoying it, at work is like you would tell. So we'd have all in ones on some of the PCs. So mm-hmm. some people would be like, oh, I tried turning it off and turning it back on again. And I'm like, what'd you do? And they just turn off the monitor. Mm-hmm. And then I have to explain to them that that's not how that works. But then I'm like, oh, but actually this computer over here is an all-in-one. So turning off the monitor is actually turning off the computer. And these people are like, what? I don't understand. Remember the I'm like, I'm sorry. big-ass Macs that we had in school? Yeah, the, like, like the, were they purple or blue? Or? Yeah, yes. I think they were like blue and white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yep. Those, those were cool. Things. Yeah. Those, Remember those hugs? Cool. Oh, God. Remember? Hugs, the little like barrel <laughs> drinks. Member We're just eating member oh, bears. <laughs> yeah. Oshkosh overalls. I don't really remember those. I think your sister remembers them. My sister. I mean, because I, she helped you with this list. I can see them in my mind, and I know. I mean, I, yes, I, I can, can see Oshkosh them. as a brand in my yeah. mind. Yeah. Um, the overalls never really. I guess they're popular now in vintage and yeah. uh, thrifting. Yeah. Um, bowl cuts. Bowl cuts. Yeah, but like <laughs> kind of still popular, especially in Europe. Um, oh my gosh. LimeWire, that's Lime, a good one. LimeWire, yeah. Dude. Yeah, honestly, you could be 18 years old right now and maybe not remember LimeWire. Because, like, it lasted probably two years. I feel like years. a lot of my 90s memories are mostly just because of the fact that I had, like, 90s as in 90s culture type things is mostly just because my brother and sister are, like, definitively millennials. Yes. So, like, that stuff still kind of carried over. 
was weird things like Bull Cots, Oshkosh, Overalls, LimeWire. Yeah, the Zanga one that your sister put, I don't... Uh, yeah, like I've never even heard it, of Zanga. The name rings a bell, but it doesn't. But it was apparently something. like a really popular blog site in the 90s. MySpace, my babysitter would go on MySpace while she babysat me. Yeah. Um, MySpace was like, well, that was before Facebook. Yeah. That was like the OG Facebook. Pirate yeah. Bay, never really got to like fully using it. I have used Towards it. Towards the end. Maybe once or twice. Maybe. It's still around. It's still yeah. around. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, because AOL, they change yeah. their, their. Like it hops. It's not like a yeah. local. Yeah, it's been shut down so many times. Yeah. yeah. AOL slash AIM reminds me Instant of my messaging. first date. That's like the freaking dial up noise, and then you're like trying to send a. Wait, man, reminds you of your first date? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Explain. Um, so my cousin Zach, uh, would like use aim all the time. And I'd just kind of sit there and watch cause like he was four years older than me. Or yeah. So I'd just be like, well, and then we'd play, uh, I think it was called box head or Blockhead, And like, it's like a two player, like flash fighting game, uh, with guns and stuff. So like we would do that. So the one day he's talking to this girl on aim and Cloverfield was in theaters and wow. yeah, um, Wait, I, what? I don't even have an exact age. Why is he age. talking to someone on AIM when Cloverfield? Like that came out in what, like 07? Maybe maybe that doesn't make sense. Maybe I'm kind of melding. Meshing I'm, I'm meshing oh, eight. Okay, I feel like if anyone's using AIM in 08, they have a problem, but maybe he was. <laughs> I don't know. It could still have I mean, been like, popular in 08. I mean, 08, I was what? Like 11. Minus... Yeah, like it was 11, 11, area, 11 yeah. 12. Yeah. I was going to say my first date was around 12. Wow. Okay. Weird. So maybe he, maybe it was just kind of a melding of ideas. But anyway, it reminded me of my first date, which basically I just saw like Cloverfield. I was 12 years old. My cousin's like 17, at, 16 at this point. Um, and this girl like brought her little sister along and it was super awkward my it cousin fell asleep horrible. i barely said a word yeah it doesn't really count as like a date but no. you know the intent was that so as a kid right yeah 100 percent. you guys remember using ds chat yes yeah, yeah that's a good one mm. i forgot about that that was picto uh, chat yeah picto yep, chat that's what it was. was yeah good stuff being on a <laughs> Field trips at oh school, my God. and you'd be like, bus. "Yo, you, you have your DS." Uh, and you're like, "Yeah, we'll message while we're on the bus." Oh, yeah, yeah. James and yeah, one time he messaged me, "Screw you," and we cracked up because it James was like, N. like other James, like like, yes, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, like not this James. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I, I knew of you, but we yeah. we weren't really friends in high school too much. Yeah, not yet. Um, but yeah, he said like, screw you. And I was, I'd crack up because it was like kind of a swear word. At the time, it was like, you're yeah. like, whoa. You're like, oh God. Because like screw means fuck. That's a very good point. Yeah. You know, okay. I just need, I need to like a little aside here. I've never understood why parents allow their ki- Okay. Well, I do get it. But when you're trying to teach intent, it doesn't make any sense if your kid's like, ah, crap. But then they say, like, ah, shit. And you're like, oh, you can't say that. Like, what? It's like My parents wouldn't let me. I, I, well, me neither. I was allowed to yeah. say crap and frick all I wanted, but I wasn't allowed to say shit and fuck. Oh, and no, it's, it's all no, just I mean, be... Oh, your yeah. parents... Re- okay, okay. How about this sucks? About yeah. Intent. Uh, this sucks. Yeah, that's that was, big, that was kind sucks of was like a... little a... taboo. My yeah. dad was like, oh, don't say... Yeah, that's... Do you think, think about what that means. I was like, oh. What? <laughs> I was like, it's your whole Basically means penis or ass. Well, I mean, if you're like, oh, you suck, it's like, you suck dick, pretty much. You're telling suck someone my ass. they. Oh, okay, sure. Or That's a good taint. one. Suck my taint. <laughs> That's disgusting. What is wrong with you? The middle ground? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But anyway. Nobody likes sucking. Un- uncharted territory. Uh, maybe maybe <laughs> someone can help me out here. It, uh, isn't Neopets reviving in some form or another? Did I you say think they're, they're coming, out, an app or coming out with an app, yeah. yeah. I mean, their system. Is now extinct. So yeah, Webkins slapped it all. Webkins was cool. I don't really remember Webkins. Webkins. My sister had a lot. Yeah. Um, Yahoo. All, all of this was done on like Yahoo's. Like, yeah, I guess it's not as popular because it's not good for you. But Yahoo's dying. Yeah. Nestle is not. 
Nestle's Nestle is not dying. <laughs> oh, God, I, it's I, such an evil corporation, man. <laughs> I mean, they all they're all kind of messed up in their own way, but Nestle yep, especially, Nestle. they're just terrible humans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's nine eleven. So those are just some bulleted things, things that we remembered. I yeah. can go on forever about that, but and then we got older. And I mean, still, there was like a, a massive tube TV monitor for a PC. For a bit, yeah. But I, I had a laptop. Oh, really? You know, yeah. I got lucky with my, comp- like, the family PC was in the basement, so yeah. uh-huh. I was like, I didn't, I wasn't concerned about, like, oh no, my mom's going to see me looking up something I shouldn't be looking up. Like, what are- <laughs> We would look up, like, Blue Waffle and stupid stuff stupid shit like that, on your computer we the whole time, like, like boobs. Or whatever. Yeah, boobs. I literally remember, like, just Googling, like, nude women. Because <laughs> you're, like, you're how old, right? You're, like, uh-huh. eight or something, and you're, like, ah, this is how this I'm works. Curious. So you just Google nude women, and, of course, you're just trying to figure it out. <laughs> I hope that, like, society never shames kids for that, because they're really just trying to figure it out. Yeah, that's 100% true. <laughs> I, think th- I think we're slowly phasing that out of our agenda uh-huh. in parenting, but, well, like... Don't necessarily guide your kid. Don't be like, nah, you're looking for Pornhub. <laughs> but, like, if you see it uh, in the history, just disregard it and at a later date have a pleasant and rational conversation with your kid about, like, sex and intimacy. Yeah, I don't even know. Don't be a weirdo about it. Like, kid, like, parents are so fucking weird about it. At least mine were. I saw you looking up pictures of girls. Do you know what that means? Do you know what you're doing? To, it's like, I don't have the mental capacity to handle the shame you're putting on me right now. Like, don't, don't do this to me. Well, when I got home today, my mom and my sister are like, why do guys on Tinder just ask for nudes? You're like, men are horny. I'm like, because they're horny and lonely. And they're l- lonely is the biggest uh, thing. I, I break it up into two categories. Either you're dealing with a nice guy who tries to put his personality first but it's not actually his personality he's being overly nice just to get some Mm. and then he doesn't get some and then he calls you a bitch Uh. and then that's the opposite of a nice guy because then you're just being misogynistic um and then there's like the bros that like actually get some but they get too much and they're overconfident and they'll just ask you for a nude, and if you say no, it is literally not even a concern for them. Like, they are moving on to the next person, yeah. and you don't... Uh, and I'm, I'm not... trying to get right to the point. Yeah, I'm not saying that every guy is like that, but, no. like, these are the... This is what my mom and my sister were asking about, and I was like, well, those... Like, think about what their lifestyle is like. Mm-hmm. One side is getting no pussy, so they are just horny. <laughs> and mad. And, and, other, and the other side gets <laughs> frustrated much that they take it for granted. Exactly. Yeah. So they don't care about your feelings, and they don't yeah. care about you, and maybe but they objectify. They're also, they're also stating their intent right off the bat. That's you know, true. They're like, hey, I want nudes. You say no. They're like, okay. <laughs> right. Then like but some, at least you some do. I, I, if yeah. they come to you, and they're trying to be nice and act, and act a certain way, but really all they want are nudes, you know, it's it's sort of that hidden intention. It's actually, right. It's actually almost worse. When did Tinder just... release? Can you oh, Google that real quick? I'm kind of interested to find out when that came out. Um, James, uh, well, I guess you're Googling real quick. Derek, we played like... 2012. Oh, 2012. Wow. 2012, it started as a startup incubator Hatch Labs. Huh. Um, and then it was, it was a joint venture. And then in 2014, Tinder was registered. Uh, oh wait! By 2014, Tinder Tinder was registering about one billion swipes per day. Oh my God! That's but Tinder insane. launched in 2012. Oh, it launched within startup incubator Hatch Labs. I see. Okay, interesting. Yeah. What kind of consoles did you play growing up? Uh, PlayStation. The PlayStation Two. I had PS Two. Yeah. PS Two. PS One. PS One. Yeah. Yeah. We. We was great. We. I was blessed with Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 and a PS1. That was like, I mean, they were all my brothers, but N64 was like the best console ever. Like, not actually, but it was great. It was a good one. Fantastic games. 
Nintendo rarely misses. They occasionally will. Like Wii yeah. U, not great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I heard the Wii U wasn't good, but I don't know why. Well, it's just, it's in a lot of ways, it was, I guess, the prototype for what was to be the Switch. Yeah. And they kind of just figured it out. Because, like, the idea in theory isn't bad, but I just think they weren't ready for it. Mm. Um, and they need to tweak it, which is fine. Like, the 3DS was a thing. Oh, yeah. I See, I only ever had, like, the OG DS, and I never upgraded anything past that. The Game Boy. The DS and the DS Lite. Remember the DSi? No. It literally was a DS with a camera on it. like, it, yeah. And you could take voice recordings, a camera and a microphone. Yeah, but that was probably, like, big. At the, like, oh, cool. The DS was cool. That's true. I had a Game Boy Advance for a nice. really long time. SP, maybe? Uh, I had the SP. I don't know. Mm. At the SP, GameCube, Xbox 360. Mm, yeah, and then 360 rolled around, yeah. And then Xbox One. Yeah. And I'm kind of... I'm up in the air. I don't really play video games as much anymore. It's kind of a bummer, but at the same time, I be busy. I, I, I just don't know how I used to have the mental endurance. Like, I remember, I think it was summer in between like 8th and ninth grade. I would get on Halo 3 and literally play from 10 a.m. till 10 at night. That's just all I did that whole summer. I don't know how I could you, play for 12 hours day in and day. You would game pretty hard. Like, I, yes. <laughs> that was like my whole life was just playing games. Because it was like, I don't know. I think it was definitely an escape after Dad died. It was, yeah. like, it was like I just didn't want to think about anything. I just, I'll just immerse myself into this world, which is much yes. better and more interesting. Because in this world, I'm a super soldier and not a 10-year-old with no dad. Right. <laughs> You fuck. <laughs> oh my god. So, no, yeah, I'm not... That's a hundred percent. That has to be why. It was it it's, was a yeah. coping mechanism. Hundred percent. Yeah. I used to not be able to <laughs> do that. Like I wouldn't be able to play video games for that long. Like um, f- like physically, or is in your parents won't let you. Physically. Oh yeah. I could not. Yeah. Um, but you're still like that. I mean, you'll play games for like an hour or two, and then you're like, I'm dead. I'm done. Yeah, but also I'm some days I can yeah. play a game for 12 hours straight. I guess like, it is hit or miss, right? Drive. The first <laughs> day I bought it, like, I was thinking long, like 12 hours. <laughs> the new Elder Scrolls is definitely gonna really put a fire under my ass to oh, get a new console. It's gonna ruin my life because same with Halo Infinite. There are just certain games, exactly. Like <laughs> I'll probably just get an Xbox and just call it a day. <laughs> I know. Loser, don't no, do it's it. not. <laughs> it's so it's, it's not. definitely not. It definitely is. It's definitely not. It's so not, not in this market, but generally. Where? What, what market do I have? <laughs> uh, mark the market before Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, after yeah. cryptocurrency exploded, PC became expensive as hell. Yes, but it yeah. will go down. When? 100%. <laughs> uh, each piece of hardware is going to go down on its own specific time. So, like, you'd have to watch power supply prices, see if they drop, watch yeah. uh, GPU prices, see when they drop, watch motherboard prices, see when they drop. I, yeah. I understand the long-term benefit, but you could it just... just buy a it's, yeah, really. For the same true. price as an yeah, that Xbox. would just I would honestly recommend doing that for your purposes. Just buy a pre built. Yeah, there's not you can actually the, it, the individual parts. Like yeah. if, you probably, if you buy a pre built, you can swap parts out. As That's such need. a good point. Yeah, I feel yeah. like most of the appeal to custom built is if you actually know what you're doing, then you're like, oh, I can get exactly what I want. But if it, you it don't, is cheaper. I think it, it is arm. overall cheaper because you're not paying somebody else to pick out your parts and put it together for you. So I think I decided on an arm sleeve. Okay. Um, Instead of a PC? Yeah. (laughs) I was actually just thinking about that today. Um, It's just something that I want. Interesting. Really bad. And, like, of course, I have all the time in the world to get it, but, like, not right now. Well, speaking of how things are a little different now, right? Like, tattoos are much more acceptable than they ever have been. Yeah, Well, yes. At least in American culture. Yeah, Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, because, you know, people have been tattooing for tens of thousands of years, probably. I think at the end of the day, like, certain jobs you can cover up. Actually, most jobs you can. You just have to probably get comfortable with a long sleeve. Like, face tattoos. If it's even a problem. Yeah. Like, even, you know, for the military, you can't get anything uh, past, like, your wrist. Past your wrist. You can't have hand tattoos. Interesting. Um, You can't have anything above the collarbone. 
I just don't understand why. Like, I can understand not liking it, but having uh-huh. rules against it, I don't understand. Um, Unless you're, like, a private or... industry that's like, yes. hey, I'm a private company owner, and I decide that I don't want people with tattoos for some reason. Like, okay, fine, it's your company, whatever. But, like, still, it's just kind of, like, why? I, I don't know. I don't Breaks uniform. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think so. I think that's just kind of it for people. But... At the end of the day, I, I don't think a lot of company companies are really, really looking out for that these days. Yeah, they, um, especially, and they know that within the next 10 years, like, tattoos are on the rise yes. with every generation, yeah. let alone just ours. Yeah. So it's like, you're just basically going to have to accept it. Mm-hmm. And I love that. Because it's just, like, the biggest fuck you to, like, the man, man. It's crazy to think that, like, there's going to be... <laughs> When Gen Z is really old, like when we're the elderly people, t- t- tattoos everywhere. Just mm-hmm. every old person is just going to be tatted as shit. It's going to look terrible. Oh, it's going to look atrocious. I've that. seen some heavily modded people in, <laughs> in my life, <laughs> and people. that's the correct term. Like like piercings and tattoos. Body and modifications, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Or oh, just wait until there's like cybernetic mods, and then... Well, they're definitely... Yeah. People yeah. That have Genetic mods. Yeah. G-mods. Well, people... Yo, you got that G-mod. G-mods Your hair's G-mods. rainbow now. <laughs> My hair changes colors when I click this remote. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this wanna, is who I am. I kind of wear blue today. You just scan it, and it's like... This is who I am. Yeah. Like, you have, like, a barcode scanner, and you just scan the section of hair that you want to change color. My God. Because you, like... I don't even know. When you take, like, the the advanced and abstract thought of humanity out and you just look at us as like primates just the fact that we're like so aggressive about like doing shit to our body it's kind of weird how obsessed humans are with like oh i'm gonna display something on me well it's the one thing that you can control fully right okay that's probably a good point you can you can display uh your house and your car. You can say, mm-hmm. I have a fancy house, fancy car. Mm-hmm. But in the end, that's not really under your control. It's not part of you. It's not part of you. Yeah. Uh, and also, people might say, I don't like that car, or mm-hmm. I don't like that house. But when it's part of you... They're they, less inclined to be like, I don't like your tattoo. Well, <laughs> even, even if they do say, I don't like your tattoo, mm-hmm. I think people generally are more accepting that not everybody's going to like them mm. and the choices that they make. So, by... Having body art, you are essentially saying, like, I like this piece of art. Mm. And this maybe says something about me, represents me in some way. Or maybe it doesn't. Uh, I, I had a college professor that was like, tattoos that mean something are stupid. Oh. <laughs> it should just, it's art. Like, let the artist do what he wants. Uh, make sure you like it. But, like, it's just purely art. Huh. Um, I feel like a lot of people, point. sorry, I didn't mean No, that. no. I feel like a lot of people get... Uh, tattoos that cover a lot of their body because so- some people are probably insecure of how they physically look so they think oh I can just cover myself up like I'll just get ta- like and obviously it's not everyone I'm sure that it's a fraction of a small percentage but I think a lot like some people are just oh I'll get my yeah. arms covered because I don't like the way my arms look I'll, I'll put art on them that way I kind of want art. everything on my body like I have a symbolic tattoo I have a goofy tattoo um, I want art. Like, I just, I want to walk up to a tattoo artist and say, you have a unique style. I like that. Mm. I want you to do whatever you want. Mm. Um, a friend of mine had an octopus done on his arm, and he told the tattoo artist to just do it in her style. He's like, I want an octopus, but I want it your style. Make it sexy. Yeah. I have a piece that is purely art. Yeah, because like I your liked flash it. tattoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked it, and the, the artist was there. He said, "I'll do it." I um, like the stock. Speaking of uh, speaking of octopuses, I watched my octopus teacher. Yeah, Funny. pretty good, right? Yeah, it was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. I good, still need to good watch documentary. that. Documentary. It's good. It uh, really touches on animal intelligence, which is, or well, we did consciousness. Animal but consciousness I really wish I could tell you. Episode, I believe it was episode thirteen. Episode. I was thinking thirteen, but maybe fourteen. I believe so it's something that we did a lot. Outside play. Outside play. Outside play. And uh, we'll get into sweet. that. <laughs> we'll have our gripes about that in a minute. But we were always biking around, dude. Like we it, had the flooper. We had hills <laughs> that we named. Right, because they were so badass to go down on your bike. Yeah. 
And like when you see the um, the speed signs that tell you how fast you're going, we would literally try our best to it like break it. Go as fast as we could. Yeah. I think we hit 30 on the hill right next to the Oh, dude, school. I believe it. We used to fly. And, like, we would never wear helmets. I'm so, Ooh, su- I'm yeah. so surprised we never, like, died. Yeah. Well, I mean, remember <laughs> Well, we'll try for <laughs> <laughs> There were two we, solid times where I ate We had shit. our moments, yeah. 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 We were both way off. Animal Consciousness is episode nine. This, wow. Way okay, back. we've come out with a lot of stuff. That was then. a good okay, one. Okay, so now, Animal Consciousness is episode It's a good nine. one, the vault. Okay, what is episode 13? Can you um, tell me? <laughs> It's Gaming with Autry? Gaming with Autry, yes. okay. All right, yeah, shout out to Autry. Yeah, that was a good episode. Autry. Oh. <laughs> shout out to shout Autry. Out. <laughs> <laughs> the one time you rode off a loading dock? Yes, yes. I think I got a minor concussion from that. My right knee was messed up for weeks. The worst injury I saw was you going down the hill with the monkey bike, which was also... You could have really gotten hurt, but I'm glad you didn't. But, like, also hilarious. Dude, I still have a scar on my elbow and my uh, hip. Bless Bless you. you. So, that was fun. Yeah. Um, There were a couple times where I fell, too. I think I remember distinctly one time not taking a turn hard enough and just, like, (laughs) flipping, literally (laughs) flipping into grass. Like... Well, remember that one time that I just... We were coming down the... one hill that was like no, a that dead was end. You. Yeah, yes. it was the dead end that goes dead to the hill. pool, and you yeah. and Austin were each on the other side of me, and I couldn't go anywhere, so I just smashed into the curb and flew over the handlebars. That was so much fun, dude. We <laughs> would literally just be like, let's do this shit, and then bomb a hill. I'm about to bomb this hill. Dude, nowadays, no way. Like, I mean, I would do it, but I don't I see think kids doing it like we I would wear it. I hate to be that guy. I Yeah, I don't know. But, don't like, know. I don't see kids just... Okay, helmetless is dangerous. You should definitely just wear a helmet. Yes, please. In hindsight. Because it like, looks stupid, but it stops you from potentially ruining your life by getting permit breakage. Yeah, because it's a stupid reason. But anyway, we would literally go as fast as we could down hills in like a residential area <laughs> like, with cars and yeah. other things that could just wreck us. Like fly through intersections. There's like, well, I don't see a, a car. Time. I guess I'll just keep going. Oh my god. Like, bad things happen, but, like, having fun's important. James, do you ever own an iPod? Being safe mm-hmm. is important. Yeah, I have an iPod. <laughs> you ever have a Zune? <laughs> what? A Zune? No. A Zune was, like, trying to be yeah, the next iPod. The iPod. It was, like, the Android version of iPod. Did not work out. I thought out. you said a Zune, and I was, like, pretty sure that's a free application. No, Zune. It was yeah. Z-U-N-E. No, yeah. yeah, I know what yeah. a Zune the is. iPod I Nano. Mm-hmm. Generation 2. Uh, what was the was good, what was the one that I it was like uh, was it called the classic. classic mine was, was like the one little white the little no they the were like the rectangle yeah they were like a fat block oh I had like a thin white rectangle oh and those are the iPod Nanos the shuffles that was a shuffle oh the, was, wait wait yeah. no the shuffles were like the tiny little squares no, yes and they nano. had no screen I thought that was the Nano no, no. it was a shuffle because it had no screens you literally were only on shuffle Did yours have a time. screen no yeah it was shuffle. Oh, if you, well, yeah, if you didn't have it a screen. It is kind of a rectangle. It was an iPod shuffle. Yeah, to... yeah they, I, shuffles didn't have screens. You literally would just, like, click buttons, and it would change the song. Yeah, it was it was this. Oh, yeah. Well, I've never seen that. What is that? It's like a rectangular iPod shuffle. It's the first generation Whoa. iPod shuffle. Oh, that was generation one. Yeah. Okay, generation wow. two, I think, okay. were the squares. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. An iPod Nano was the rectangular one with the screen. And then it turned to more of a square with the screen. Yeah. Which, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Down. yeah. Um, yeah, those were cool. They had a couple fun games on them, just like pre-installed games that I would... Well, you got an iPod Touch, and I was really jealous about that. But then smartphones came along. Yeah, exactly, and then it just became <laughs> so <laughs> irrelevant. So I eventually got an iPod Touch. Um, I had that shit for a long time. I had that. I, I had that when I had a flip phone still. Or, yeah, like a, like a flip phone. Um... And then I had my iPod Touch for like a long time, even like after smartphones. I still have mine, it's like shattered. I still have my iPod Nano and my charger. I I found my iPod Touch like a little while ago. I was like, holy shit, this takes me back. Yeah, it's insane. What kind of TV shows did you watch? (sighs) SpongeBob was number one, 100%. Favorite show of all time. When it was good. It was a great show. Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Teen Mm -hmm. Titans was pretty good. Teen Titans was cool. Like classic. Teen I watched all these shows. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Oh, yeah. Great show. Jimmy Love Neutron. Cheese. Fantastic character. Um, oh. Jimmy Neutron was such a weird animation. Very like 
creepy almost at times, yeah. but what was still the show cool. with the two beavers? Angry Beavers. You're a hunter. That's it. It was yep. Classic. Angry Beavers. That was a great show. That show was so freaking funny. I don't know if kids these days <laughs> really know just how explicit old cartoons were, but like Hey Arnold. Yeah. That was weird. Uh, the, what's your name having the shrine to Arnold? The jokes were like borderline, or okay, they were, yeah, borderline like adult. Yes. To the point where like it wasn't blatantly. Like you didn't understand as a kid, but then you go back and like you're like, well, yeah, sure. Yeah, kind of like Shrek, like wipe your shoe, what is it? Touch your toes, wipe your face. Yeah. Whatever that yeah. joke is in the, yeah. Yeah, anyway. where yeah. he should say ass. Right. <laughs> But he doesn't. Right. He does say ass Wipe at one point. Face. Donkey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know. Because yeah. donkeys are asses. Yeah. And yeah. They got away with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember this one part of SpongeBob where, like, he's like, look, Gary, the balloons. Don't and drop them. Yeah, it's like soap. <laughs> <laughs> and then YouTube um, kind of became the new TV. <laughs> Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Could I just... No, yeah, 100%. This? Yeah, Grim oh. Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I forgot that existed. What's that, uh... A lot of anime. I was weaving oh, pretty Naruto. hard early. Fuck. Naruto. There's Johnny this anime Brady? called Mare. Johnny if Tess? anyone out no. here that is listening to this well, has ever seen Mare, please contact me so <laughs> we can rub heads. Because... <laughs> hey, timeforanything.com. Send Derek a message. Send me a message. <laughs> Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Great show. Hey, baby. Jonathan... How you feeling? Very you like my yeah. you like my combed blonde hair. I think it was kind of making funny, like making fun funny, making, making fun. <laughs> no, it's making it's funny. Making funny. So anyway, we're moving on and <laughs> making yeah, funny. funny. <laughs> I made a funny. Here's another funny. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, 360 PS3. Yeah, we, we had all that YouTube. YouTube. Uh, Smosh. Oh, was huge geez. back in the day. If you go back and watch it, it's super cringy. Like they're old but it's like stuff. nostalgic, but it's cringy. It's it was definitely cringy. Yeah. What I'm, was there anything else that like I would actually watch on YouTube? I can't even really think of anything. Um equals three. Hamster yeah. dance. Uh there was the two girls doing the Barbie girl uh lip two sync. Girls, one cup. Two girls, one cup. <laughs> Kids Which, in a sandbox. I don't, know. don't look up that second <laughs> one. Don't don't do that. Oh um, Blue Waffle, of course, we Stop. already mentioned that. <laughs> You're hurting me. <laughs> so then, I think, oh, what what year was it? Probably, two th- yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. I think uh, it was, like, 2009, 2010, Facebook? What, what year was it? It was somewhere around there, yeah. Come I- I believe, I think it was probably 2011 when I actually created one. Social media was all a thing. I was telling... Facebook launched in 04. Wow. What? Okay, but I was probably using it at like 20... I think I was 13 I, when I made my account. My yeah. parents made me wait until the age, which I think was 13. Yeah. I used Gaia online for my social media as a I child. I don't know what that and is. And like, grown adults would be like, hey, you want a cyber? And like, they would walk what? up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember this one time. I'm like... So, like, you would drop in this, like, village setting, and you had your avatar, and you could walk around with your avatar and emote and text things, and, like, people would chat, typically, and you would just kind of hang out. So, like, Club Penguin. Kinda like yeah, pretty game. much, but, like, yeah. explicit. Right. So, people yeah. would be, like, this, I remember this one time, I woke up, and this guy's, like, want a cyber? And I'm, like, what's that? What is cyber? He, <laughs> he's, like, internet sex. And I was like, I am. I don't know. I was like, uh, okay. And then his like Abby just starts kind of like teabagging the ground. He's like typing in the box. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, I gotta go eat dinner. Bye. And I didn't know what was happening. And that's the first time you were ever sexually abused. <laughs> that's terrifying <laughs> to think that like. We don't joke about that. But... No, no, no. But like, really though, like people, people yes. had those experiences. Yes, hundred percent. Because I, I've a. Uh... <laughs> You get exposed that people act like you're not ex- like exposed at a young age to like sexual content, right? Yeah, and that shit is everywhere, especially now with some oh, YouTube stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, yeah. yeah, it's way more than I feel comfortable with for like 
Like, I don't want my kid, like, on TikTok for yeah. a while. Well, I yeah. hope TikTok's not around when you have a kid. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, it might be. I mean, if it phases out like Vine, that'd be cool, but it's man, not, it's... Well, but if it does, it'll just be a new one. Because TikTok is like the new Vine, it's just worse. Well, TikTok yeah. is more popular than yes, Vine. Yes, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Worldwide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just... I mean, like, even today, I asked a coworker who has grandkids. I was like, your grandkids use TikTok? She was like, oh, yeah, of course. Why not? What? I was you're like... like you like, but Why? <laughs> I mean, my girlfriend uses TikTok, so... But, like, she's an adult. And like, yeah. It's like, okay. Yeah. Well, like, you can choose I, what content you view. You see, like, view. weird thumbnails on YouTube that's like, oh, how to have sex in Minecraft. And I'm like, right. okay. Like, like, like that. they're literally nine-year-olds, like, clicking on this They're stuff. targeting Correct. children. Yes. yes. There is, uh, God, if I could remember what it's called. And we just allow cool. that because, like, why? Oh, because it's Minecraft. There's, it's not actually... There's this whole thing on YouTube where... There's videos that are made targeted for children, but they're yeah. explicit. Damn it. They have sex, they have nudity, they have... How? Is that even allowed? So, do you remember Happy Tree Friends? Yeah. Yes. It's sort of like that, although that was specifically explicit. Like, that, I yeah. think, was stated. It was, gore. It was also it was... directed towards an old era. Right, audience. it wasn't targeted for kids. Right. These are, they're using, like, Spider-Man, um, and, uh... Uh, like whatever I- icons or familiar things in kid culture, however right. you want yes. to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me actually, to attract attention. It's weird. We can come yeah. back to this after the break. Absolutely. I wanna I wanna look up more about this. So then, like, social media rolls out, and Twitter, and then Instagram, and then Dude. you got Snapchat, which was huge. I remember Snapchat. They were like, yeah, like the pictures just delete, and so everyone immediately was like for nudes, and then. <laughs> I heard that that's why it was originally created. Probably. Was for nudes. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. why else would you need that? I don't know. I don't and then know. it just kind of became a way for, like, kids to communicate, mm-hmm. which is fine. Yeah. Like, it kind of turned into a better thing. Instagram, um, I didn't even get an Instagram account, I think, till my senior year. And you were trying to convince me for, like, three years to get an Instagram. And I was like, no. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, it's pretty shit now. <sighs> I just don't care. Like, I mean, we have to use it. For our platform, which sucks. Yeah, which, I, I, I mean, using socials. to be honest with you, I wish I could put all of our fans into a big room and just give you guys a hug and just say, right. you know, welcome to the show. And, and then we just do it in front of you and leave, yeah. but do the show in front of you and just leave. But like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I was thinking it. <laughs> yeah, I no, I, I say it left my mouth and I was <laughs> like, well, it's out there now. We'll do it um, in front of you and then leave. <laughs> okay bye <laughs> everyone's just mortified yeah. um or aroused uh <laughs> <laughs> so then memes came along but dude memes were like yeah weird like remember the uh pho meme no really with the teeth no nope. it's like pho Nope. But it never finishes the fuck. Mm-hmm. So it's like five. Oh, yeah. Or uh, Me dude. Gusta, which is a good one. I wish that one would come back. James, do you have a thought? I figured out the term for... Well, I think I, it... I think it was... So, okay. It's it's Elza Gate. You know Elza from Frozen? Yeah. What happened was there's... Oh. They used the character... Uh, and other characters, like I said, Spider-Man was was a main one. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're they're either live action or animated videos that uh, targeted for kids, mm-hmm. non not age restricted. But uh, uh, the, the the problem, the real problem, is they they use keywords like education. Mm. Learn colors, nursery rhymes, things like that. Uh, and their tags and stuff. That way it shows up and in your algorithm. That's terrifying. Right, but then, but then they have contact, graphic violence, sexual mm. situations, fetish, fetishes, languages, drugs, alcohol, injections. This is terrifying. Yeah. yeah. It's it's this whole thing on Elza Gate. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it's, that's a good example, but there's content. so many other con- like similar ideas with just different subject matter. Yes.
we're deciding to switch up the uh, overall layout of the podcast. Um, around the 30-minute mark. Even around the 30-minute mark. It's been an hour? It's been 50 minutes. Yeah. Wow. Okay, okay, so we were way off on the time. Totally. That's why, like, 10 minutes ago, I was like... Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's totally fair. So, uh, if you made it this far, thanks. If not, um, sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway... Uh, around the 30 minute mark, we're going to be doing different sort of, uh, you can call them features, you can call them little things, but Phil came up with something. Go ahead, Phil. Yeah, so today in science history, so this will be May 16th, um, we're obviously recording this before then. April. Um, yeah, it's in, we're recording in April, month but um, so this will come out on May 16th, so. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. yes, so. Pretty much, we were just like, oh, how do we just make something interesting happen so that people don't lose their attention or want to die? So maybe we'll just spit out some facts on history, and then next time we do this, it'll be something else. You know, it's not going to be history stuff every time, but apparently in 1988, nicotine in tobacco was declared to be addictive in ways similar to heroin and cocaine, according to the Surgeon General's report, <laughs> which is just crazy. Like, I don't... I just think that's really interesting that it's like, wow, nicotine is considered to be as addictive as heroin and cocaine. Well, yeah, you hear old heads say like, ah, uh, I remember when my doctor would smoke in the patient room. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You're just like, what? Do you remember smoking section? Yes. In the restaurants? And there were apparently ads for Diners like, especially. Yeah. I remember seeing a really old ad. It was probably from, like, the 60s. It was, like, an athlete put in the newspaper, like, oh, I smoke cigarettes after and before my runs for increased performance or something. I was like, how does that make any sense? Like, you Well, you get a lying. nicotine buzz. There's this, <laughs> there's a striker in the top flight. It's the Premier League. Um, best division in soccer in the world. Wow. Um, and he, on top of drinking, like, six Red Bulls in a day and, like, four espresso shots, will put on nicotine patches on his legs before a game what? and play a game, and he's good. Like, he is one of the best strikers in the top wow. flight league. that sounds like... I Jamie Vardy. I would just have a heart attack and die. That sounds insane. He's just a bloke. He's just a blimey bloke. <sighs> Go ahead, Phil. More facts. Oh, uh, someone else give me fact number two. In 1931, you bloke, London United Tramways started London's first trolley service. Someone is going <laughs> Someone's gonna be very offended. By I that. don't care, you wanker. <laughs> well, but, but okay. I do a decent British accent, oh, love. It's a little I'm like a, Jack Sparrow because I'm, I'm really an American. Right now. This is so funny. Oh my god. 1931 though, dude. The first trolley bus service in 1931. Which seemed kind of late. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, but, like, but I don't for know within why. A city. I just expected yeah, I mean, it to be sooner. A big, like, <laughs> London too. Like, yeah, yeah. no joke. And trains. <laughs> trains had been around for quite some time but to get it small enough to fit on the city streets. That's actually such a good point. Power it. Yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I really would have thought that a trolley service would have, or a tram service, would have been before 1931. But like, like, early I, 1900s. Like, I would have expected at least but 1900. That's, yeah, that. yes. Yeah, yeah. But, but no, apparently. Um, it's a little strange. For records? Yeah. Maybe it's just all a lie on that website. Well, the first fact seems possible. all right. <laughs> but, like, did we back it up? 1560s? Is the earliest. It's It's, like... Yeah, that that's like that's like the earliest somebody's ever tried to do it. Okay, but, so explain flat disk um, recordings because we probably should have figured this out before we wasted people's time talking. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that was my point. I was like, well, what is that? <laughs> it's fair. Yeah, it's, it's fair to get just, caught up. It's just a different version of a record. Huh? It's the same thing. It's just that it can revolve seventy-eight times. Which is faster than records could before that. But like, oh. why do the revolutions matter? Like, you're not playing music faster. I think you can <laughs> Derek your face. You're like, wait a second. I think I think I think you can what? fit more on it. Oh, okay. Because... Wait. Oh, because there's more Whoa, revolutions, no. which means you can fit more music. Hold oh, okay. on a second. What? What? What's happening? If you sped up a vinyl 
Would it would it play it faster? Yeah, it would. It would okay. Play it faster. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, Conversely, you're, you're not you, speeding up time. I'm like, what? It plays slower. It plays slower. Yeah. 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 More digital entertainment. What does that even yeah. mean? It means kids are sitting inside eight hours a day playing video games. Yes, and, and not playing outside, outside well, anymore. Probably school five Supposedly. days of the week, but I yeah. still, I still think home. that mm. children have ample outplay time. Yes. Um, I don't think that there's any shortage of children playing outside. However, uh, maybe some children are more prone to not going outside now. But I think they were doing that even before video games i think some kids just played inside i wish yes. we would have cross examined what's it called when you play on a sports team like in high school like uh it's uh extracurricular activities like mm. sports mm. um i wonder if that rate has declined yeah i don't know because some sports are indoors too so it's right. like it, you kind of you yeah, can you nitpick it every now and then less, less, yeah less. yeah it doesn't necessarily mean that kids are just staring at a screen but i right. think it's safe to say that there are screens in front of kids faces now more than there ever has Absolutely. yes so this is one thing that was really interesting to me um i was just i had a thought thinking like oh well i don't I don't really remember many girls playing games when I grew up, you know? And you guys had a good point when we were discussing this. Like, well, it doesn't mean that girls didn't play video games. It was just we didn't really see it, especially because yeah. we were younger. Um, but so to read some numbers, uh, apparently, so teens today, 92% of boys have access to a gaming console. 75% of girls have access to a gaming console. Mm -hmm. not, and I'm thinking mostly now it's probably because of like millennials having kids and well probably not millennials but like people who are on the cusp of being millennial or maybe like early millennials like they, they have kids so now they're having consoles and then those kids are playing the games because their parents have consoles but yeah. I don't even think kids are really teenagers now if they were born from millennials but I anyway. think men can still um, gatekeep yeah yeah which is unfortunate from uh yeah, um, when it comes to video games. Either just actually just attempting to gatekeep or just being weird. Right. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of turning... Unintentional gatekeeping. So nowadays, 83% of teenage girls who have access to a gaming console play video games. Which, again, to me, is like fucking nuts. Right. Like, where do you... Where where, did you yeah, get? where'd you get that? Um, I, I have it like, linked <clears throat> in the resources, so we can... I mean, either way, if you I mean, go I'm on... I'm curious. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly in the name of the source, but I have the source here at least. So if only you only one, yeah, there's only one on that. It's terrible. Um, but I think I actually did get a second source for, uh, according to entertainment software. It, oh my god, according to an entertainment software association survey, female players in the United States increased from forty percent in twenty ten to forty eight percent in twenty fourteen. Um, so, uh, yeah, I guess that one is a second source. So I have, like, two sources for that. I also that, but... think that that partially could be because of the rise of Twitch. And Yeah, I yeah. definitely think you're right yeah. on that. Yeah. Is could girls be. knowing they can uh, make money from just yeah. playing games. Um, that, and also seeing other girls playing games and saying, oh, well, I guess it's okay. Yeah, so yeah. I'll do it, too. Right. They, so... they don't necessarily have to make money off of it. Yeah. Um, they just see it's more socially acceptable. Yeah. And again, obviously, like, it just, I don't know, whatever. I don't but know. I, I think also, uh, when we were kids, a lot of girls were still playing video games. Yeah. I knew plenty of people, or plenty of girls that had the DS, mm -hmm. um, and that mm -hmm. counts as playing a video game. 100%. I think um, there was, like, some kind of stupid stigma, where it's like, oh, like, girls can't play video games, because you're, like, a 14-year-old stupid boy that's, like, oh, in reality, boys. In reality, girls just didn't play the same video games yeah. that you did. Yeah. Well, if you're in the child, like, entertainment in industry, right, like, you're making toys for kids. Mm -hmm. They really dictate what they market towards, like, males and females. Yeah, yeah. that's 100%. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, they kind of have that say, and, like, society typically has gone with it, but... Thankfully, we're kind of just spreading the love and uh, doing things. But, you know, just let your kid 
do whatever they want to do as long as it doesn't hurt yeah. them and yeah. it's, you know if your daughter yeah. wants to play Star Wars Battlefront 2 let her <laughs> yeah it's like, whatever if your as long son, as it's age appropriate if wants if to do makeup to play fuck yeah Nintendo Dogs Island hell yeah them. speaking of Nintendo I feel like Nintendo has been like I feel like out of between like Xbox, PS4, and like Nintendo consoles, like I feel like Nintendo is the one that's the most female friendly. And again, maybe I'm just like I, I don't I think know. Nintendo's just more, like just friendly. by chance, just ex- just more friendly, more more accessible more, to yeah. everybody, yeah, kids included. Yeah. They're not putting out many M-rated games. And if on... they are, it, it's like Call of Duties on Resident Evil, some of the old. Wii consoles. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Um, yeah. It wasn't a good game on the Wii consoles, mm-hmm. <laughs> but you could play it. You could yeah. also play it on the DS. Um, yeah, like yeah. I remember my sister playing oh my Harvest God, Moon a lot. Uh, you what is it? Harvest Moon's so Animal, good. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing's so good. Mm-hmm. Have you ever played Call of Duty on the DS? No. <laughs> like Call of Duty 1. On the, on the Wait. <laughs> yeah, I have. Wait, I have it. It's Wait, remember? So that? I, I, was it you that I was booting that up and showing that to? I think it was you. I have Call of Duty on the DS. Like, I don't remember who I got it from or where. It, like, it just appeared one day. I, I remember at our local DS. GameStop, I forget which Call of Duty was being released, <laughs> but the first person in line got it for the Wii. Oh, God. <laughs> and everyone was like, are you kidding me? That's really funny. But, you know, waited in line just like everyone else. Yeah. Well, so we talked about kids not really playing outside, but kids are probably playing outside maybe just as much. And yeah. Around, but I think I, maybe with the pandemic, it's been a little bit different. Yes. Yeah. People are probably like, hey, maybe <clears throat> don't go outside. But so, I, I think that children generally are still, still playing outside. outside. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I, I do think it's probably decreased since, like, say yeah. the 1950s. Yes. Right? When yeah. all you could do was go outside. And play. Right. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah. according to Seattle Children's Research Institute, children 10 to 16 years old average 12.6 minutes per day of vigorous outdoor activity. So, that's vigorous outdoor activities. Right. So, like, sports. You kind of like boxing it in a little bit. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. So, so like, yeah. they're probably still spending time, like, oh, let's yeah, hang out at the park or go to the wall or the playground. Yeah. Even if you're just, like, chilling on a patio and you're, like, 12 and you're just hanging out with your friends and you're drinking you're, some... Like, Capri Sun. Capri Suns are like <laughs> Arizona Sunny. peas. But you go like the beer route. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. So I drink some beers in the playground. Drink some brews with the boys at the playground. <laughs> the Maybe hop on the monkey bars. <laughs> Maybe take a little swing. Who knows? So another fun fact. According to a survey by SGB Media, American children spend 35% less time playing outside freely than their parents did. Okay. 65% of parents who were surveyed said that they played outside every day during their childhood, while only 30% of their children do the same today. Just because they're not playing outside every day. Right. Though. Doesn't mean they're not playing outside. Yeah. And I think that it's totally reasonable to allow your child to not go outside one day, like, that they don't go outside one day. Yeah. If they have, if they didn't have video games uh, as prominently when our parents were alive i don't think they had really any when like yeah i don't think yeah probably yeah but yeah yeah. maybe to a degree with um they had some like real old school video games like the the handheld baseball Mm -hmm. football games that you'd have yeah that literally it's like a box that only has one game on it and that's all it can do i I think balance is key well, yeah. Like, we, we didn't think of it explicitly, but we did balance it pretty well. Yeah, we like, really did. Like, we were outside a lot. We, I mean, but we then we would play Halo a lot. a lot, too. Yeah. 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 We would do just, yeah. yeah. I was the same way. And Land I think parties. It just kind of uh, is natural. Yeah. Right? Right? Because I think, as a human, you're like, I should be outside. I think children especially, they have so much energy mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. So what else are they going to do? Like, run circles in their parents' basement? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think they someone have to go outside. <laughs> someone does yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Somebody that is stuck with a foster parent. And, and I'm also sleep. thinking, like, uh, our parents didn't have video games, but they definitely had TV. You know, yes. so they were definitely or, or talking on the phone with, with their friends for like two hours after school or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. And, and by saying I was outside every day as a kid, I mean, what do you classify as a kid? 
the yeah, age that's also 12, a good point. Yeah. To the age of 16. Until you're out of high school. Like, yeah. what do you even, yeah. So, I think as you get older, you spend less time outside. Generally, but yeah. generally, yeah. but Unless doesn't you mean get it, a job. Yeah, it's it's, it's outdoors. This is kind of the problem with sample sizes, and I was kind of thinking this throughout this whole conversation. Is like you really, obviously, you want a large pool mm. of people you're surveying, but like that still doesn't really do it justice because like if you get ten thousand people. There's 380 million people mm. in America right now. We talked yeah. about this the other day. Like if you, for example, you, know, you would never do this, but let's say you're, you're taking a survey and you get 100 people, mm -hmm. not enough people. Yeah. But by chance, 90 of them could be in group A, uh, where only like 10 of them are in group B. Mm -hmm. And then you could do it again. For like get the whole world or something. Get 100 different people and 90 of them could be in group B. Yeah. And 10 of them could be in group A. It's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the problem there is the size of the sample. Like, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the larger in size you get, the more of a realistic uh, point of view you'll you'll have. Yeah. Uh, I don't trip too hard on the whole uh, kids playing outside thing. Yeah, I think I think, I think kids it's probably are generally fine. fine. Sure, obesity is probably still a problem. Yes. Yeah. Um, especially child obesity, but that's more about it's also diet, diet. Than, yeah. than actually going out outdoors. Right. Yeah. Hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Well. I do Sorry, think man. it is. I do think it is dangerous um, at the age that we're at, if somebody's spending too much time indoors. Yeah. Uh, um, like I still go outside and play. I go hiking. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I count that as outdoor. Yeah. Play time. Yeah. Um, Once sure, I not... put the basketball hoops back up, I'm. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. They, I, they I love just playing. They did. Yeah. There's there's places with hoops. Over. Yeah, there is, but I. Like up the street, there's uh, from like four perfectly. Still down. They had them up in the summer and then they took yeah. them right back down because people were using them. I mean, yeah. I was using. Um, I was still playing basketball. That, yeah, that wasn't the best idea. Anyway, um, vaping. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, when did that become a thing for you? I feel like it wasn't even until my senior year that I really started to hear about it. I don't know. That's uh, the just box. Me. Like, so it started off with like box vaping, like box, huge mods, box mods, and like yeah. blowing fat clouds and yeah. like doing that kind of stuff, which was lame. Um, I got a stick mod, but that was was that after I started vaping. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember when it really started for me. I tried, my first cigarette sucked. It was awful. <laughs> it tasted terrible. I don't even remember, like, smoking my first cigarette. I don't even remember that happening. I stole one from my dad. Oh, nice. I remember being like, I'm 18. I want to try this. Or, like, I was 17. I was like, I want to try this. Hmm. Lit it up. I was like, this tastes terrible. Yeah. This is just not even cool. <laughs> and here I am. Addicted wow. to nicotine. <laughs> and now so many people are... Like, it, I feel like, oh God, so many people in Gen Z are smoking something. I mean, it's crazy. I think smoking things is just human nature, honestly. Yeah, Humans yeah. Humans have done it for so long, they're not going to stop anytime soon. Yeah, tobacco's been around for forever, mm -hmm. and probably same with marijuana, <clears throat> and <clears throat> tons of psychedelics just people have herbs, been doing. Just yep. different types of herbs. Yep. Yes. Yeah, drug use has just been around us for tens of thousands of years. It's not even necessarily, like, the, the point of drug use. It's just the act of smoking. smoking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the oral fixation, the mm -hmm. filling of your lungs. Yeah, it is kind of a sensational thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the one time I stopped smoking, I switched to a spitless nicotine salt pouch. And it took me forever to get over the oral fixation aspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you just wanted to smoke. Like, like, yeah, you get the nicotine high, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's just not the same. Yeah. I think... Um, do you know the, the book series Foundation? Mm -mm. I have heard of it. Isaac Asimov. Oh, that's right. Foundation. Yeah. Uh, Wait, Isaac Asimov guy. wrote Dune, right? I mean, I think of someone else. No. No, no I'm thinking he of someone else. I Robot. Mm. He wrote, oh, okay. Not the movie, the book. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's two different, two completely different. Yeah. Um, oh, no, you're fine. All I was going to say is I don't think that 
smoking is going anywhere. And uh-huh. In the Foundation series, which is something that's set in the future, right? Like the far distant future. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. They talk about cigars, cigarettes, pipe tobacco. But an interesting thing from that book is vegan tobacco. What? Um, and it never really gets explained, at least not the in the two books that I've read. Uh, there's so many Foundation books, so maybe somewhere along the line it does, but... It's yeah, weird. it's this uh, vegan tobacco, and I almost thought of it as like vaping. Wait, but what is it? So I guess it would just be v- like as in, wait, but so it was written like Foundation was written like what like f- early nineteen fifties forties. I I think that's just out of my butt. I don't actually know. Because tobacco is it not vegan already? Like I'm confused. It is. Yeah, fifty one. So then um, when you call it, it's like weird to say that. Yeah, it's not vegan in the sense of vegan as you think now like, okay like non-animal products <clears throat> yeah um yeah it's that's a why i term um but yeah smoking is not going anywhere There's that's no way. that's why i saw the vegan tobacco mm-hmm. from foundation as sort of like a vape mm-hmm. uh, like a like a vape like an e-cigarette kind of thing yeah. yeah um yeah let me know let me know when that came out i'm interested 51 51 okay yeah so according to an article from the cdc uh, in 2020, at least, approximately 20% of high school students and 5% of middle school students currently use e-cigarettes. Uh, by comparison, in 2019, it was 27.5% of high school students and 10.5% of middle school students. So, the, again, the problem with statistics is, do we say, oh, like, the percentage of high school and middle schoolers went down on vaping in a year? Or is it just that they did another survey and this time, just less people said that they vape. You know, like you can't, it, it again goes back to what you said. Like, well, you're just selecting a group of people and you could do the same test, like even the same results. year and get two different results. Yeah. yeah. So you never actually know if kids are vaping less now, like compared to 2019 or not. I think with the laws that have been passed about it, it's definitely more difficult for kids to vape. That's not to say they aren't doing it. Yeah. That. Yeah, it's but now that it's 21, different. like, now 18-year-old high school students can't buy it and distribute it to the kids in school. In school yeah. um, now, this was interesting. D- uh, disposable e-cigarettes have increased 1,000% <laughs> um, among high school students and 400% from middle school students. So, Jesus. apparently, 20, 26.5% of high school students and 15.2% of middle school students are uh, using disposable e-cigarettes so that's this is what's weird is these numbers are higher than the numbers from the other uh statistics so yeah again it's probably just by chance that like and i was also thinking um i kind of explained this to you when we were talking about this the other day how many kids who are filling out this survey are actually being honest because it makes you wonder if the kids are hitting their vape once or twice a week or they're vaping with their friends once or twice a week and so they're saying on these surveys they don't vape because they either don't want it to admit it to themselves or they don't think that they are like a vapor. Mm-hmm. Um, um, any good researcher leaves room for error. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just up in the air. It's like, how do you actually know yeah. how many kids are smoking? Um, it's just mind boggling to me. Like, I, I mean, I, I, I think I remember hearing from my friend Dan who's like, he's like three, I guess two years behind you, um, was saying that, yeah, there's like a lot more kids just vaping at like the high school we were from. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's crazy how just tons of kids, I mean, again, with the law now being 21, I'm sure it's a lot harder for them to get a hold of things. But really, I mean, again, back when I was in high school, I don't think vaping, vaping was just starting to come into fruition, mm-hmm. at least for like younger kids. But nowadays, I feel like not many people who are smoking who are younger are actually smoking. They're, like, vaping. I don't know. That's just what I think. But, I mean, like, I don't know. Right. What? Unless they're cool. Unless they're cool. (laughs) Yeah. Cool kids don't smoke. Oh, I see. But I don't know. Honestly, it's better just to not smoke. Right. Right. 100%. If you do, don't ever buy it. I feel like buying it's really the... uh, beginning of the end because like i know a lot of people that will like bum a vape hit off me Mm -hmm. or like you know 
just not ever purchase nicotine, but not necessarily never use it. And mm-hmm. it's fine. And it's a lot easier to control, but when you start to buy that. Right, because then your like lungs at least have time to like repair themselves and clear out what you've done if you only, you know, vaped once that week. But yeah, like I don't yeah, know, doing it every don't day. Repair that fast. No, your lungs no, they, after a week. I mean it's not that resilient, no. But it takes years to reverse the damage from like vaping once. Yeah. But and that's another thing that scares me is I remember um my sister was telling me, at least this is what her pulmonologist thinks. So, I mean, I can't speak for all pulmonologists, but he said, please, please smoke cigarettes. Please don't vape. Like if you're going to do one or the other, smoke cigarettes, because he's seen long term now, because I guess it's been around long enough that it apparently puts like fissures in your lungs, like holes, and your lungs are just screwed. Whereas like cigarettes just mostly put like tar inside. So that can be you know, cleared out to an extent. But, I mean, if you're vaping, potentially you're just doing physical damage. Irreversible. Which, I mean, again, you are with your, when you're smoking, like, actual things, but... Smoking anything. Smoking anything. Anytime you put anything into your lungs that isn't meant to be there. And now you see ads of, like, oh, if you're vaping, you're putting, potentially putting harmful metals into your lungs. It's like, Mm. we don't even know what's in these things. Yeah, it's still a little bit too soon to really see the long-term effects because like you said vaping was really getting big when like around 2015 yeah 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 around five five or six years ago like 10 years yeah because the e-cigarette which was originally an alternative to cigarettes Mm -hmm. for smokers yeah saying like hey this will get you unhooked from cigarettes Mm -hmm. that's not what happened Mm -hmm. at all no uh in fact it started a new fad (laughs) yeah 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 that's that's so true but we don't really know in 50 years what it's going to look like when you vaped if you're in your middle school now yeah yeah it's scary it's but scary. they didn't know with cigarettes for so long either, and people survived. Yeah, so hopefully uh, not. Everybody used to smoke. Like, everybody smoked. Mm-hmm. It was weird if you didn't smoke. Right? Yeah. yeah. And those people survived. Um, but I think vaping is different. So, And also the tobacco back then was different. Uh, a big thing with cigarettes yeah. is the filter. The, fil- yeah. the filter is actually like, the worst part of the cigarette. Yeah, right. Yeah, that there's actual regulations on the tobacco because in the early 2000s there wasn't as many regulations on tobacco. Yeah, interesting. You could put really bad stuff in tobacco. Okay. And now it's a lot harder to do that. You can't. Like, yes, you still. So get now it's the filter you got to worry about. Well, yeah, you still get additives in your tobacco, especially mm-hmm. if you buy like certain brands. It's it's the it's really the filters that were uh, becoming bad. It's funny the when they figured out that tobacco was bad for you, they were like, oh, let's put a filter on it and say that it's healthier. <laughs> and then we'll and just load the filters with anything we want. <laughs> yeah, the, the filters had... Because uh, the filters are where, like, the supposed rat poison and all that other stuff was, like... Uh, no, no, that was in the tobacco. Oh, that was, like, when um, they were actually able to... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, but the filters have, uh, like, fiberglass, or they use wow. fiberglass in it. Um, why? Like, why would you put fiberglass in a filter? Do you think it's just because of how it's made? Yeah, Yeah, there's a lot of things that just have, like, uh, a lot of metals are wrapped in a clear coat film for uh, protection from scratches, which obviously doesn't really work that well. Um, And, like, also, like, liquid damage. Um, We have one product that worked. So, like, rubber and vinyl don't work well together. Like, if you touch, I think it's either, I think it's, vinyl to rubber um it creates like a like a kind of looks like rust but it's like this weird discoloration weird. in it because the chemicals that are used to make it just just don't, don't no weird yeah That's really of, strange. Of, yeah so like you know they say like wash your cups wash your plates before you use them um when you get them from the store mm-hmm. wash you know Fruits and Fruits, all that yeah, stuff, yeah. just in case. You never know how they preserve things, but it's also yeah. kind of necessary to preserve things. Otherwise, you won't have fresh grapes because they'll unless be bad. You, unless you live somewhere that grapes grow it's like freely. Sourced. And, That's why yeah. local sourcing is great, but yes, yeah. it's grape. But <laughs> um, 
Why local? It's not always possible because if you need a fruit in a tropical climate, like, well, yeah, you can simulate it, I guess. There's yeah, I think there's alternatives. I think everybody in theory could buy local. It's often mm-hmm. more expensive, but um, it's healthier. It's better for you. It's yeah, better for the people that are trying to sell those things. Um, use yeah. fish. I've heard they've like started splicing tomatoes in fish DNA so that they last longer on shelves. Interesting. Which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Which is a, which is GMO technically. Yeah. Genetically yeah, but, modified, right? But like, what is your definition of GMO? Because humans have been naturally genetically modifying things for forever. Ever. Ever. Like corn ever. never looked how it does. Like, have you ever done a Punnett square in um, ninth grade biology class? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did. Did I? <laughs> yes, I don't remember doing that. Yeah. Well, maybe you should pay attention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I don't think I yes, did because did. I. You, what year was that? Ever, was that tenth grade? I don't know. Because I was in PA cyber. Uh, in, I was in PA cyber in tenth grade. But did you ever have biology? I don't. Th- that's what I'm saying. I don't. I think I took biology in PA cyber. So then I don't you think you still I'd, probably did. Uh, it. You still probably did it though. I don't know. That's don't, like that's like a staple. I don't know what a Punnett square is. So okay, you take. A, like I can um, let's use you know the little like, like the, the duck ass, um, so like that little tail on the back of my head with that my yes. hair grows into. Okay, you ever see that? Yeah. Okay, so that's a recessive gene. So yeah. like, let's say it's like R R. Um, uh, okay, I think like I know. small yeah. R, small R, okay. and then my mom had a heterozygous gene, which is heterogeneous. Heter- hetero hetero hetero. I don't know. She had a capital R and a lowercase r. <laughs> okay. So then in the four boxes, you would do capital R, lowercase yeah, r. Yeah, this is all like lowercase r, lowercase r, capital R, lowercase r, or yeah, lowercase r, lowercase r. I got okay. the... See, yeah, yeah it's just... Mother's genes, father's It's just starting genes. to look yeah. so familiar now. Yes. It's so so I, I got that. How, like... I, that that shit recessive. is just, like, out yeah. of my memory, because it's been so long. I just... That's so bizarre. Yeah. So humans yeah. have been doing that with plants for Forever. and dogs. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, Chihuahua just was raised in the wild. Like, <laughs> no. We made Chihuahuas. You ever see a Which pug really breathe? Weird. Yeah, it's, it's disgusting. You ever seen a pug's skull? It looks so. It's deformed. so sad. Yeah. But um, yeah. in terms of like the ethics of GMOs, it's hard to say. You know. I never thought because... we'd get into GMOs at the <laughs> at the end of this episode. This has been our nostalgic you know, tour. You have. Some things like the tomato, yes, uh, mm-hmm. spliced with fish DNA, which yeah. I don't know how that prolonged shelf life because fish don't have a particularly long shelf life. I don't life. know, but in any case, that's not really hurting anybody, right? Unless we find that that specific thing causes cancer, yeah, like, but what it, doesn't cause cancer? Uh, anyway. I think scientists are a little closer to figuring out immortality, a little closer, yes, yeah, so far I away. Have, but... I've heard this a few times uh, in the past few, what are they called, weeks. telomeres? Oh, I think it's I the know. sheath around your DNA that slowly wears out, yes. like, out over time. Yes. Wow. Um, certain, like, jellyfish and lobsters have an ability to repair their telomeres. Yeah. I think I'm getting the term right there. Um, Wait, you're talking about, like, the... Oh, no, I know. Like, jellyfish are biologically immortal. Yeah. Uh, there is um, one, at least, that is, I believe... Because it literally like reverts back and then gets older again and then gets younger again and then gets older again, which is really weird. But yeah, I think most jellyfish are like they yeah. live for it's pretty cool insane I, amounts of time. I would want to live longer, maybe, but I, not forever. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering. Eventually, be like, alright, stop repairing. Gonna be when we're like seventy. Like, what if we don't have to die? But it costs like three million dollars. <laughs> Well, then it'll, <laughs> everyone's dying. More At least in America. Three million is pretty cheap. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. You're, especially yeah. in like. What would be more expensive? Years? Especially because supposedly getting a helicopter to a hospital is almost a million dollars. Immortality so. or flight to Mars? More expensive. Uh, Definitely immortality. Immortality. You think so? I think so. Well, I don't know. Because, like, depends on. Maybe by the time we can actually price. just yeah, get a flight yeah, to Mars, like, maybe it'll be the norm to yeah, be immortal. Well, see. I don't know. Yeah, well, <laughs> but if you become immortal. You can just wait until the flight to Mars is cheap. Nah, there you go. That's then, true. That's a lot of waiting. <laughs> so it's a better yeah, long-term What else are you going to do other than wait? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Crazy. 
Well, thank you for joining us yeah. on this fun little ride. Yeah. I, had a, I had a great time. And was, again, yeah. as a reminder, statistics, you never know. Um, if you're interested in reading any of the sources that we got those stats yeah. from, timeforanything.com. Please do. Hit the episodes page, Perfect. grab that episode. We've got, well, I'm sure we might have a few bloopers in there and uh, some, some resources 100%. from our episodes. So. We tried to do a little better with the resourcing. Yeah. Um, we're going to do even better going forward because we kind of messed up on Sometimes. a couple parts. But yeah. we're but. trying our best here. We, we try to keep it objective, but many times we fail. Yeah. Such is life. Timeforanything.com. Timeforanything.com. See you later, friends.